Hey, what's up everybody? This is Richie here, back on Richie's World. It is a wonderful night, Saturday night, and I don't have friends. I'm not going to go out and be social, so we're going to have some fun tonight in Minecraft. What you saw in that little intro, provided I put it in, was me getting some XP, and why am I going this way? And the reason I was getting XP is because we've been working over at the guardian farm well it's currently an ocean temple it's gonna be a guardian farm and we basically broke our boots so we're gonna have to repair them and as you can see it was quite expensive but it's worth it because after all we're gonna get a block farm so I'm gonna go over to the guardian farm right now and I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing so if you look very carefully you can see what I've done. It's pretty obvious, actually, if you look. And that is, I have surrounded this entire temple with blue glass. I'm gonna get shot at. Oh, dear. Okay. And the reason for me doing this is that in this episode, I wanted to clear out all this space inside of the blue glass, which was originally a good idea, but while doing it, I had a thought deep in my brain, which doesn't happen often. And I thought, hey, while we're clearing this out, there'll be less and less spawn spaces. So there'll be more and more guardians spawning in less and less water, which means by the time we get into clearing the last section, it's going to be a nightmare and it's going to be filled with guardians, and it's not going to be fun. So what I thought we would do in this episode, instead of clearing the Ocean Temple, is building the mob farm inside of this base. Now, it won't be very efficient, but what we're going to be able to do is essentially... And I just heard a guardian inside. What we're going to be able to do is keep this on while we're clearing the outside. So as less guardians spawn out there, more will spawn in here, and hopefully we won't have to worry about very, very concentrated mobs. Now, I didn't bring any of the stuff I need to build the mob farm, so I'm going to run back to base. I'm going to get everything we could possibly need, and I'll meet you back here in a second. So I went back to base, and I got a bunch of stuff. There's some more in those chests. And I think it's enough, but I'm not sure. And this right here... Well, it's an idea in progress. I'm not sure if it would ever work. But the thing is, I want some sort of a system that can be turned on and off. So I was thinking we could have something like this, and I think all these blocks down here are spawnable. But still, I'm not quite sure. I don't know if I like the design, I don't know if it gives me enough surface area. And honestly, there's no real reason that we should ever have this off, is there? I mean, unless it caused major lag, it, it really doesn't seem beneficial to be off. I'm not planning to build a vacation home here. I mean, it's the only thing we'd really use this place for. So yeah, I think it is acceptable to keep this on the whole time. Forget what I said before. Forget it. So now what we're going to do is build some sort of a thingy mabobber. I know that I I'm far too technical for you to grasp, I'm sure. And we're just gonna 
set it up to work, hopefully. And then, if we have time, we're going to clear the outside of the temple, but I don't think we will. I think today's going to be a little on the short side. So I'm going to get building, and I'm going to see what happens. So this is the prototype of our farm. This is essentially what we're going to be building. And you can see it's actually already working, even though we don't have the outside cleared out. We have some guardians hopping around in there. And how this works is there are source blocks of water at the top along here. And then there are two layers of just downward draft water. And that's going to push all the mobs straight down. It's only three long because if it was any longer, it would take them more time than we want to drop. Like, I made a farm that was like a whole tank. And it was really inefficient because as soon as they dropped, they'd just swim back up. I mean, they wouldn't fall all the way down. And we just have signs here holding up the water. So what I'm going to do now is maybe build the little subsections here and there. And then I guess we're going to dig down a little below the ocean floor and start doing the redstone for this project. Now, I don't know exactly what that redstone's going to consist of, so I'm going to do some thinking and come back to you guys with an idea. Alright, guys. I have something a little disappointing to say to you. And that is that I'm sort of out of time, because it's like 11-ish, and I have to go to school tomorrow, and the video's supposed to come out tomorrow. The thing is, uh, it's midterm week at our school, and usually we get midterm week off instead of, I, I mean, we come in to take midterms, but besides that, we have the rest of school off, but this year, we don't get that time off, and we still have to take midterms, so we don't actually really have any time at all. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the episode around here. I mean, I'll talk you through what we're doing and what we're going to do. But, oh, there we go. That's what we're going to do. Guardian farm right there. 10 out of 10. No, but what, um, what this farm essentially does is the guardians are going to drop down from here and they're just going to fall right down to that area on that level right here they're going to die and we're going to collect their drops and I think I'm going to have an item elevator that sends the items up to some sort of a storage system in here but I'm not really sure and then I'm thinking we're also going to have areas here here there and there just to bring up capacity and of course when we uh, clear out the outside we're going to have lots and lots of spawning and everything's going to happen much faster. But yeah, that's what we're doing. It's already working. Every once in a while, a guardian will drop down. But of course, it's not going to be at full capacity until we empty out all this water. In which case, when we do, it's going to be pretty crazy. We're going to be getting a ton of mob drops because the only place guardians can spawn is going to be in right here and there is a cave under us that we'll have to light up but besides that we really shouldn't have any problems so yeah i hope you enjoyed this very very short episode I i'm sorry that i i can't finish today it doesn't usually happen it's never happened before and you know hopefully it's never gonna happen again but i think that no episode no that's not what i think i think that a little episode is much better than no episode, and hopefully you agree. So yeah, this has been Richie. If you really like this, check out my channel. And you know, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot to all you guys who've supported me, because we're just starting to gain a tiny bit of an audience. So yeah, I will see you guys next time.